Yeah, yeah, check one, two, check one, two. Is this mic on? Is this mic on? Hey, listen, man. It's the one and only Trent set of DJ Sense, and you're listening to Cocktails. Dirty Discussions with Kiki and Medina Monroe. Yeah. Today's cocktail is called Knock the Nerves Out. You're going to take what? <laughs> Yes. You're going to take 2 ounces of tequila, 1 and a half ounces of a really good triple sec, a splash of sour mix, mix it all in a shaker with ice, pour over ice. Then you're going to take a shot of tequila and then sip the rest of the drink and enjoy. And that's to knock the nerves out. So welcome oh. back to Cocktails Dirty Discussions, you guys. Um, I am here today with my mom. This is an episode that y'all have been asking for a lot. So hey, mommy. Good evening, everyone. Her name is Tish. Can I call you Tish? Yes. It's I preferred. Didn't... Oh, okay. I didn't think you were going to say that. Well. Yeah, because this discussion don't call for a mommy discussion. It, it definitely does not. So, okay. So my mom um, lives in Texas. And what's your relationship status? Single, single, and ready to mingle. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, so she's single. She has uh, three other kids. I'm the oldest of all of her children. Um, and we don't really talk about stuff like this, which is why I had to make that drink to knock the nerves out. So this is going to be a very um, interesting discussion. Were you nervous at all? No, no. Uh-uh. Why not? No, I just, um, I'm not nervous. I would say say at first I was like well I'm gonna give her the answers for someone my age not okay. who I really am oh gosh okay so <laughs> do you want to say how old you are I mean shoot it ain't no secret you old I'm older I'm 51 okay all right so um before I start asking you the the questions for the game and we get into the discussion and everything um, I'm going to do the weird sex story of the week. You said a man is not a necessity. A man is a luxury. Like dessert. <laughs> yeah. A man is absolutely not a necessity. Did you mean that to sound mean and bitter? Oh, not at all. I adore dessert. I love men. I think men are the coolest. But you don't really need them to live. So I feel like stuff like this is going to be a lot more common now that people are stuck in the house. But this woman was dating a chandelier. Dating. And um, she even went to court to try and file a discrimination case. <laughs> she claims that she has some sort of, she has a sexual orientation. I don't know what it's called, but where she's attracted to inanimate objects. And there is this chandelier at her home that she is so in love with. And she feels like they are discriminating against her because they will not allow her to marry the chandelier. You think she got cabin fever or something? No, that really is an issue. Like a mental that's an health issue, issue, but that's not a sexual orientation. Well, you know, some people have sex with the tailpipe of their cars. And like for real. That. Yep, you I know they have people show. that have sex with animals, with dead people. People are weird. They have their kinks, but this is not a kink. This is a mental illness. Yeah, and I hope she gets the help that she deserves. Check on your family members and make sure they're not falling in love with stuff like the refrigerator or the yeah, stove. Because you, <laughs> you never know what you'll find if you open up that refrigerator door late at night. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so we might got, think it's milk, but it ain't. <laughs> well, what's it gonna be? <laughs> sperm, girl, sperm. Why would Catch you put up. that in why would you put that in the refrigerator? You said the people be going out with refrigerators. <sighs> All right. I'm well, just saying they ain't the refrigerator to make sure for that the they won't. Well. <laughs> All right. So we play a game to loosen things up. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What? So you go over to a dude's house and he has more than one refrigerator. One has food and one is empty. Girl, get your shit and get up out of there. You ain't going to never be enough. You ain't going to be cold enough. Get what out of the, there. Wait, what is the second refrigerator for? 
That's his love thing. That's his side hoe. What? If he got two refrigerators, I heard you. One is full of food and one is empty. That empty one, that's his girl on the side. Did you know somebody like that? <laughs> nah, girl, I'm just saying. Even you said that. refrigerator. I said a tailpipe. But that man was getting it on with that tailpipe. I seen that on the YouTube. Oh my god! I said, oh boy. <laughs> it was kind of disease up. you gonna get from that. Okay, but I'm sorry. I'm. Mm-hmm. We're off the itinerary. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. All right. You so, started late. I've been drinking. Yeah, and I try not to, so I would be on good behavior because I have a hard time staying on uh, the itinerary myself. So anyway. Well, you know I love me a good itinerary. I know you do. I'm sorry it doesn't have minute markers for you, but we like to be a little bit lax with that. So anyway, the game and is And that's called- the problem I had with the itinerary. <sighs> The game is called Truth or Drink. You may want to fill your cup because oh, it looks shit. like it's getting light. Yeah. So the <laughs> this some mm-hmm. good stuff, y'all. It tastes just like watermelon Kool Aid. I ain't got that much left. I'm gonna see if my son and go get some. He's part of production, but he mad now. He in his room eating a frozen dinner because I ain't cooked. Oh well. All he's right. single. Like, well, he ain't single, but he's single. Ooh. Okay. Well. He ain't married. Woomy. Okay, Come we on. gotta play the game. I'm sorry, Tish. We All gotta right. play the game. All right. So the way that it works is called Truth or Drink. Y'all may, if you're a subscriber to Patreon, if you're not, you need to be. It's patreon.com slash cocktails. And you have to um, subscribe on there. And you can see all the bonus videos. So I've been playing Truth or Drink with a couple of different people. You can take that. I don't need it. Okay. So um, I'm gonna ask you a question. Mm -hmm. And then you'll hear the question and you can decide I'm going to answer this truthfully or I'm just going to take a drink. We usually know you're shady. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, Start slow. All right. I'll start slow. First question. Who's your favorite child? Mm -hmm. Oh, girl, you don't love all y'all equally. (laughs) Are you for real? I didn't didn't say who you love more. Different. Mm -mm. y'all each bring a different joy to my life you really do and that's just being honest y'all all all think it's joseph we do and joseph and madison and matt well joseph and madison think it's you Mm -hmm. mallory and madison think it's joseph but i love all y'all equally it's just that you are the firstborn Mm -hmm. joseph is the last Mm -hmm. and he's you and i have come well you know there's martin jr but you but, know he's a grown you know, man your kids that you had yeah. yourself true 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 and then you have you so yeah we had our rough patch going mm-hmm. through the last part of high school and all of college what a but tough then, time yeah as you after you graduated started living life on your own I feel like we became closer again Mm-hmm. Mallory, same way. She's coming back around to me. Madison, well, you know, she's iffy. But I tell <laughs> y'all, barracuda for all of y'all. I'm just saying I'll catch a jellyfish sting for y'all. Uh, well, and that's you. some scary shit. Oh. No, it's fine. You can say what you want. We don't believe No, words. Joseph said if you use profanity on YouTube, you don't get paid. I do get paid, so. Oh, Joseph, she said she still get paid. They do do oh, unlimited... Mind. They do do a limited ad thing, but it's not that big of a deal. We get money in other ways. Anyway, um, have you ever had a one night stand? Oh, no. I'm too classy based. No, nah, just too slutty based, girl. Just be honest. <laughs> okay. Um, what do you think your biggest parenting mistake was with me? I would have to say listening more to my mother instead of following my first mind. Mm. Because even to this day, she still calls me when she hears things and wants me to address it with you. And my first response, she is an adult. Mm -hmm. I have to let her fall if she's going to fall and be there to help her up. And I have to let her make her own way. What's the craziest rumor that you've heard about me? Uh, That you had a sugar daddy. (laughs) Yeah, that was a big rumor going around the family. I was like, well, why I can't have the sugar granddaddy? (laughs) Shit. (laughs) I was like, 
Girl, she ain't got no sugar daddy. She just work hard. Mm-hmm. If I'm wrong, okay, but yeah. Oh, I'm supposed to drink when I don't want to answer a question. Okay. Right. Yeah, you answering them. Okay, have you ever done drugs? Just marijuana. Mm. Little Xanax. <laughs> Never tried the Percocet. I drank some scissor, but uh, we <laughs> fell asleep in the car. So that's not good. That's not um, good. I tried Coke one time. Really? And it was me and a couple of girls from college, but we were all, you know, out of college at the time. Mm -hmm. Had professional jobs. And she was like, let's just try it and see. Let's just try it. Oh, my head. Like, all this was hurting. I felt horrible. I was scared I was going to get hooked because, you know, addictive personality or addiction runs in our family for other things. I was like, oh, I can't do this. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that was it. I was a one time, one hit, I quit. I didn't like the way it made me feel. I felt like I was running, but I was sitting. It just oh, didn't no. feel. I like things that mellow me out like liquor. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you ever been a side chick? No. Have you Mm-mm. ever found any of my friends attractive? Like my guy friends, my guy friends. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Why are you doing the shoulder shimmy? What is that about? Because I'm just thinking like, you know, he'd be like, oh, hey, girl. (laughs) I'll be like way down here. (laughs) I know who you're talking about. All right. Yeah. Um, Why do you think I say hey? (laughs) Okay. Um, I'm not supposed to drink it. Have you... Uh, no. Why do you think I'm not married yet? At one point, I thought you were gay. <laughs> I thought you liked the lady pond. Uh-huh. And I was like, why would she just not tell me she likes the lady pond? That would just make me stop. And then I said, well, maybe she's just real selective. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what it really is. You're waiting until you reach some pinnacle even though sometimes if you have the right man by your side, he'll help lift you there. And it can be your joint accomplishment instead of just yours. There's no, no shame in sharing it. Look at you already share this show with uh, Medina. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with sharing. Yeah. Um, Well, with certain, but I've decided I'm going to stop asking you about cheering. Thank God, because that is something I've always said, and I just never understood why you were still asking me about that. You got three grandchildren already. I honestly think that you will marry an older guy who's divorced mm-hmm. and has kids. Yeah, and that's how you be a mom. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'll like them, but you know, hey, let's go. Yeah, hopefully somebody does. Um, have uh, let's see. Have you ever stalked an ex? Yes. You're just going to answer everything. Okay. I mean, what what you wanted me to lie? No, I didn't want you to lie. What happened? Well, I had this one boyfriend. His name was... Oh, I can't say names, can I? You can make up a code name. That's what we do. Uh, Like, uh, we got... Like a football We'll bag. call him Alex Rodriguez. That's what we'll call okay. him. Okay. Alex Rodriguez. But he wasn't Mexican or whatever he is. Puerto Rican. Okay. Yeah. So, so you stalked him. Yeah. He became pretty famous and I just kind of followed him to see, you know, what he was doing, whatever. And he called me one time and he was like, well, how you doing? I was like, I'm fine. You know, it's, you know, it's going Okay. Mm -hmm. When I first moved to Dallas, and he was Mm -hmm. like, well, where are you at now? And I told him, and he was like, well, I'm playing a game in Dallas. I said, okay, cool. He was like, well, can you come see me? I said, well, wait a minute, aren't you married? He was like, Mm -hmm. yeah, but that don't matter. I said, oh, you up to the same old shit. I hope you have a good career. And bloop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, Let's see. What attracted you to my dad? Oh, girl, I thought your daddy was so cute back in the day. Just didn't know nothing about it. He used to be fine, too. Yeah. Didn't know a lot of stuff about him. You uh-huh. know, if I had listened to my brother, you wouldn't have been here. As I've heard. 
from your brother. Um, <laughs> You know, a lot of people had a lot of stuff to say about him, but honestly, um, at first, it was pretty cool. He was fun. He was older. We had to do a lot of stuff, go a lot of places and stuff. And then when I went off to college, it just started fizzling. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, so you dated him before you went to college, the summer before. Okay. Yeah, then I went off to college, got pregnant with you, and I had to come back home. And he was like, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It wasn't fine. It wasn't mm -hmm. fine. And um, men will tell you anything at the time. Little did I know, he had a record for doing this kind of stuff. So, mm. But, of course, we just recently found this out. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. there is that. So. Uh, have you ever cheated in relationships, in any of your relationships? <laughs> okay and the last one um i'll save the other ones when we do our bonus um mm -hmm. who's your celebrity crush or crushes uh life jennings life before jennings. i knew oh, hold on that would let me take that back because that was before i knew that he sang about what he been. he mm -hmm. had sang a song by he put the tims on many people back mm -hmm. he'd be driving his chevy and all of that that fool drove his camaro to that that boy house and kicked in the door and snatched this woman up out of there i do want a caveman but damn not that much of a caveman yeah that's a lot <laughs> uh, that's a lot um oh that guy oh my gosh aquaman oh jason Lord, momoa is that Ooh, I just want, yes, mm -hmm. I want to fire. I want to beat. I want to burn up the office where that advertising agency is that has him walking through, taking off like the prosthetics, the arm, oh, the muscles, and, and the all hair. of that. Yes, girl, they crazy. That's Jason. Ooh, I know Lisa be having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> he is very handsome. He's on my list, but you know, yeah. I like Rick Fox the most. Um, all right. I used to like Rick Fox, but then I saw my daughter be stalking him. I don't be stalking him. I just appreciate his pictures. Hey, <sighs> am I crooked? Because this you're not crooked. Laptop. Okay, go ahead. Your head is tilted to the side, like you're tilting your head. <laughs> but it's fine. It doesn't look unnatural or anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, that's it for the game. If y'all want to hear more truth or drink questions, you can submit it to us through email and uh, hopefully we can set this up again and do another one. We'll see how it goes. Now, today, Wait a what? I don't get to ask you any questions. No, you get to ask me questions in the bonus. Oh, so they got to pay tuned. for that. Yeah, they got to pay for oh, that. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't give out your business for free, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Now, okay, oh. moving on. So I wanted to talk to you just like, um, like I said earlier, we don't really have a lot of these conversations, but I thought it would be interesting for us to do it. And then just to hear like your perspective, you are older than me. Um, growing up, you were married most of my life. And I saw that relationship that I knew that there was my dad. And um, so I wanted to know about what you think about the relationships and what it's like dating for you now. So I want to start with um, dating now. Do you date? I do. Y'all don't know about it, but I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you like it? No, it's very difficult. Um, Why? I'm in. I'm 51. Mm hmm. So I don't want anyone that is too young for me. Too young for me is someone in the 30s, early 40s. Um, well, how old they got to be? She's at least 45. Oh, what are we going to talk about? I don't know. Maybe y'all want you wanted to be a cougar and have that phase in your life. You wanted somebody younger. I was going to ask if you would date somebody my age, but I nope, No, I see. 45 and up. How old is yeah, too old? Uh, 60. 60. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. No, fuck that. Wait a minute. Bring that in. <laughs> about, <laughs> about 56. 56. Five 56? Years. Really? Five, mm -hmm, that's a five year gap. Why? Five up or down. Why? Because I feel like when they get too old, um, I don't really have anything in common to talk to them about. Because honestly, my age is 
51, but let's be real, my um, attitude and our views on life, they're very forward. They're more younger. Mm -hmm. Um, A lot of my friends, um, I don't want to put them out there like that, but yeah. So I'm very (laughs) open. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Um, I don't mind a lot of things because it's really none of my business. Um, Mm -hmm. um, Things that when I was growing up was definitely not okay to be talked about, discussed, or shown. You know, I applaud young people that are living in their truth. Things like my what? friends don't accept that. Like being gay. Let's just oh. let me just put it out there. A lot of my friends, they're like, no, that's mm-hmm. wrong. The Bible says it's wrong. This is that another. Hey, there's a lot of things the Bible says is wrong, and I don't want to get into all of that, but that's not my business. The Bible teaches us to love thy neighbor, and that's what you need to do. Period. Yeah. So so one of my really good friends, he's you know, gay, and I just love him to death. Mm-hmm. And um I I don't agree with a lot of things that my friends disagree with. Mm -hmm. Well, we have disagreements about it. Um, Race mixing. They don't like that. You would think. mm -mm, Hmm. mm -mm. Because I asked like my, oh, I don't want to say who it was, but I said, well, if I come to a function with a white guy, what's going to be the problem? It's like, well, we're going to be nice, but we're going to be talking to you about what the hell is wrong with you. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, yeah, <laughs> tell me how you really feel. So, you know, um, I love them all to death, but mm-hmm. as I stated, some of them are more stuck in the old way of thinking. And um, I'm just like a live and let live because uh, honestly, who can I judge? I've been out there. <laughs> Have you always been really open minded? Yes. Where do you think you got that from? Honestly, I don't know. Um, I would say that out of all of my siblings, and I have five altogether, I am the wild card, the black yeah. sheep. And I'm okay with that because I'm true to who I am. And that's important. Everybody can say that. It's probably lighter to live your life. Yeah, it way. is. Mm. It is. Um, okay, so what made you want to get married? Um, married to Martin. How many um, times you been married? Girl, once. Don't be fronting me. Shit. I no. thought so. So it's like, who else? Thought you had a secret. <laughs> no, I ain't have no secret. Well, I mean, you know, it's with other people I wish I could have married, but that just didn't pan out. <laughs> But, uh, girl, when your step did it, <laughs> when I first saw him, I was like, ooh, look at them. Mother. That's why I never liked him to wear no tank shirt. Why? Girl, when I first saw him, he was at my friend house over in Irving, Texas. And me and one of my girlfriends, we had just stopped by just, you know, to kick it. We ain't had nothing to do on the weekend. It was hot. It was summertime. We walked in. And I saw that bald head shining. That muscles was pop, pop, pop. I said, whoa, who is that? Because, <laughs> you know, I used to be just like everybody else from Louisiana, stuck on them yellow bones, girls, you know, because that's me for me, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, who is that? I'm just reliving it again. <laughs> I didn't know that fucker was a liar. But I was like, oh, my God. I was like, ooh, girl. So I said her name, but I ain't going to say it on here. I was like, girl, because she was, you know, she was, she see that she wanted, she got it. She was like Beyonce. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I was like, girl, I'm going to shoot my shot at this one. Here it is. Fine. She was like, yeah, he is. I said, all right, girl. She was like, okay, well, shoot your shot. If it don't work, I'm going to shoot my shot. I say, oh, cool, cool bet. So, so what'd you do to shoot your shot? I was like, hey, what's up? Uh huh. You did those eyes? I did, girl. I was about 100 pounds lighter, girl. I was white. I was looking <laughs> good. <laughs> I told you my like, friend saw that? your picture and was like, oh, it's your mama? Mm-hmm. Yes. Somebody that is around you would have problems with me about 30 years ago. <laughs> <Woo-hoo>. <laughs> okay. So you mad at me, shut your shot, and what happened? Yeah. 
so we all kicked it that weekend. Mm-hmm. And for the time my friend was dating his friend, that's why he had came out. He just rode out with him. Okay. So anyway. Where do you live? Uh, Gremlin. Oh, okay. So um, he called me during the week and he was like, well, such and such is coming back. I'm going to come back, but I want to kick it with you. I said, okay, cool. So after that week, that next weekend he came, we started kicking it. And that was that. Bop, bop, baloo, bop, bop, bamboo. <laughs> <laughs> but I should have taken the goggles off and seen that somebody has a problem with telling the truth. Yeah. That happens. Do you yeah. think, uh, do you ever regret getting married? No. Do you think that it's, if you meet somebody and you fall in love for whatever reason, do you think it's worth getting married? I do. Why is that? If you marry the right person for you, you have a solid partner Mm -hmm. who will uplift you, he'll back you, he'll support you. He'll be your friend, he'll be your lover, and sometimes he'll be your enemy and you have to whip his ass and get it back (laughs) on track. I'm just kidding about that last part. (laughs) But sometimes, you know... (laughs) He will be your friend Uh and he'll be one of your biggest supporters. And it's always good to be able to have a sounding board that can make you feel better. Yeah. Um, Oh, and another thing, Hmm. if you marry the right one, he's going to have money and he's going to help you with your bills and get your stuff straight. Or he's going to take care of all the bills. But if you take care of all the bills, just be careful that comes with stuff. Like what? Well, it's my way or the highway. Mm-hmm. They take on a different persona. Yeah. She ain't going to wear. She need me. Mm-hmm. So not saying you have to work outside of the home, but always have something for yourself. Something for yourself. Even if it's going for a walk in the park every day, because that costs nothing. Have that for yourself, but you have to have something for yourself. Um, what do you feel about secret bank accounts? Secret for bank you, account? Like if you got your stash away account, do you advise that to people who are married to always put some money to the side for you? Or do you think that's a recipe for disaster? That's a recipe for disaster because if you did that to you, you would be pissed off. What I do think you should do is have a joint account where you both equally put money into the account. If you're not working, then you need access to all accounts. Then have your own account for your girls night out, your shopping sprees and all of that. But I don't think secret accounts, because once you bring secrets into the equations, you're going to have problems. Okay, but if you have um, a separate account where you do your personal stuff, your girls night out, why is that not a secret account? Does he have access to it, or what do you mean? He's not gonna want access to it if he loves you. He don't give him put money in it. Hmm. Did y'all hear that? Hmm. Because yeah. we get questions about that a lot, mm-hmm. and it's like, well, girl, I don't know. Somebody wanted us to do a whole episode about splitting money, and I said, I ain't never split money with mm-hmm. nobody. It's my money, you know, and then I'll take some of yours if you give it to me. But if you don't, whatever. I've not been married. Nothing has been that serious for that to be my life. So I don't know. Well, let me just say this. I honestly and truly believe that the man should be the head of the household. In order for in you to way? be the head of and in order for you to be the head of the household, you need to be taking care of your wife. In your marriage vows it tells you to honor your husband. Right? Mm-hmm. But when you're honoring him, he has to be the man he's supposed to be. He's got to be able to take care of home. Speaking now, of Mike. I'm sorry. He's got to okay. be able to take care of home. Uh-huh. Now, it might not be the home you want, mm-hmm. but he has to be able to take care of home. If your home is a two-bedroom, one-bath apartment, well, it better not be an efficiency. That, ooh, that might need to wait. But if it's a two-bedroom or one-bedroom apartment and y'all trying to save up for a common goal and mm-hmm. he's pulling the weight, you have to defer to your husband. The world is the world is a man's world because they're real sensitive about they stuff are. like that. 
They sensitive about a lot of stuff and try to pretend like it's just the women. Yeah, they really are. And when they don't feel like they're in charge, like they have the final say or they're inputting uh, the most into a home, it becomes kind of gray area, kind of fishy like. Mm -hmm. And I do know that black women, we do have a reputation of taking over. I wouldn't say that that's necessarily true, but I will say that sometimes men do need to step up and be the head of the household Mm -hmm. and make the decisions. But you can't be making the decision and we sit in the dark. Yeah. Why do you think that black women do that? Take over? Oh, they're going to kill me for this, but I don't think they've had a lot of examples. Hmm. Of a man leading and doing yeah, what needs to be done. of a man done. leading. Because, you know, ultimately, why are you marrying a man that you don't want to honor and obey? That's how I feel. I feel like some because people want to be in a relationship to be in a relationship or to say they have one because they feel like they have one up because they think that maybe they're not in the stereotype of all these single black women. But it's like, well, girl, if you still doing everything and he just there, you got a homie. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Okay, they're probably going to kill me for this statement. What? But I also feel like, and the girls at work, they always fuss at me about that. There are certain things that are men's work and certain things that are women's work. Oh, gosh. So you believe in the gender roles? I do. Yeah. Some people going to feel some type of way, but we also have a lot of girls who like it. So what do you think the gender roles are? What should a man be doing in a relationship and a marriage and the women? What should we be doing? I think a woman's place is to take care of the home. The inside of the home is the man's place to make sure that your car is filled up with gas. Your car is clean. The house is clean on the outside. The yard is done. Anything that's breaking down, he's taking care of it. He's bringing the money home to the household. He's making plans for your future. Mm -hmm. I think that as women, we put too much on ourselves. And that's why so many of us are dying of heart attacks. Mm Because it's too stressful. We're trying to do our part. Come home from work. Cook. Clean. Homework with the kids. Clean. Sex with the husband. He sleep. And then you up cleaning again. Folding towels and all of this stuff. No, ma'am. All you need to do is go to work if you if your budget requires it. Go to work or if that's what you enjoy. Cook. Children. And then pamper yourself. From what I know, it seems like you've always been in a relationship up until you got divorced. Because that was condensed. Why do you say no? No, girl, shoot. How much time did you have to not be in one? Well, I was out here for about five years. Yeah, sex, drugs, and rock and roll, baby. I'm telling you. (laughs) Okay, so for five years, if you're 51, well, we won't even say 51 because the the children years don't care. It seems like you're a long-term relationship person. You don't think so? In the past, I was, yeah. What changed? I just feel like I want to see a bunch of different people. Mm -hmm. I ain't got much more time on this earth, so I got to see what it do. Well, hopefully you got a while. You're only 51. Yeah, but everything don't work till you're dead. They ain't got no pills for women yet. Actually, they do. Oh, Um, yeah? mm Mm-hmm. I can send you some. Oh. I actually have an endorsement deal with them. Perfect time for me. Is that that one it. that be on your Instagram all the time? Mm-hmm. The She Orgasm Spill is an herbal supplement. I can send you uh, some in the mail if you'd like, and you can try them out at your leisure. Um, they work for some people. They don't work for some. But just try them out and see, you know, what you think. Um, okay, okay, that sounds good. Mm-hmm. And some people take it as a daily supplement, and then some people just wait until they feel like they need it. Okay, so um, I want to go back to your dating life now. Um, so you don't have kids in the house for real. I mean, quarantine has changed that. But was it really different when it was just you? Yeah, it was. What was different? Well, I don't really want anybody in my space <laughs> like that. Mm-hmm. So, 
I would go over to my little friend's houses and stuff, you know, kick it over there, mm-hmm. sip some crown, yak, mm-hmm. listen to old school music. That must have been when you was ignoring my phone calls. Well, girl, what we going to talk about if a cute man, you know, he old or whatever in front of me, you know. Well, nothing. You go ahead and have your fun. I just be calling to talk about the housewives and stuff, you know, check in, make sure. I cannot else. wait for that new housewife show to come on. Me mm. either. It's taking too I'm long. embedded in your motherfucking brain, bitch. She didn't say motherfucking brain. Your brain, bitch. What you think and she you was drinking? Keep seeing me. What you Ooh, think she was drinking? Because she don't even drink. What got her so high? No. I feel like she had a little bit of that sweet rum. No, I don't think she was drinking. I just think she's sick of Dini, as am I. You can't well, be a bully sometimes and a wimp other times. Own it or move on. Yeah, but let's get away from the housewives. We don't be talking about that on here. Thank All you. Right. Um, okay, so what would you marry again? Oh, Jesus. Um, I don't know. What makes you know. iffy about it? Well, if I married again, it would have to be to someone that I really and truly feel like would help me um, as my body deteriorates. Because there's only so much science can fix. Help you like what? You want a bionic leg or something? <laughs> no, like shit. Simple stuff like help me to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Help me to the toilet. Fix my food. Like if I'm laid up in the bed with one damn leg, help me mm-hmm. get in my wheelchair. <laughs> and so shit go down. Don't leave me in my wheelchair over in the corner. No, no, ma'am. No, sir. Well, not no, ma'am. No, sir. <laughs> um, What kind of man do you want? Oh, girl, this is going to sound so racist. Okay. I better not say it, huh? I didn't tell Maybe you before, think about play. it. Think about yeah. it and then say it. But it's okay. <sighs> that motorcycle is really annoying me. Sorry, you guys, if you can hear it. I'm going to try my best to get it out. But I want a man that don't mind fixing up a house because we might not be able to afford a really nice one. Why you I want a man a whose one? nails are clean but cut short because he got things to do with those fingers. I want a man that can fix a car because I don't want to always have to go to the body shop. Because, you know, sometimes curves move. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want a they man do. They that, be jumping out. <laughs> that wears shorts in the wintertime with Birkenstocks. I want a man who, when he gets dressed up, he puts on a plaid shirt and a pair of khaki. <laughs> <laughs> I want a man that I can't use his comb and he can't use my shit. Not because he's bald. I want a man that'll sit in the corner and just shut up and let me be me. And then when it's time to go, he comes tap me and say, hey, Tish, it's time to go. Okay, baby, let's go. I hope y'all can read between those lines. I think it was very clear. That was an excellent <laughs> description. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I always talk about I say too much, so I try to. Mm-hmm. That was you did good. You did good. Okay. Um, what kind of man do you think would be good for me? An older man that has been divorced has older, several like kids how much already. Older? Like maybe ten years older. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say your age. I've said it That's, already. They know I stopped lying about it. That about your anniversary, <laughs> your twenty fifth birthday. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> um, an older man. Who is divorced? Mm-hmm. Who has kids already? Um, has partial custody, not even joint custody, but partial, yeah. so that mm-hmm. you can he can be a helpmate to you. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah, the race unknown. Unknown. You yeah, don't think race would unknown. Be black? What is all this it talking w- about? <laughs> It would be detrimental to your love life if a black woman is waiting around for a black man to treat them the way that they deserve to be treated. Not saying that they won't, Mm -hmm. but to wait around for it. You need to explore and just date. We were supposed to do a challenge and we never did. I forgot the challenge. What was it? 
go on a date until just go on a from the dating, dating app, app and just go on a date. Yeah, we need to do a seven day dating app thing where we go for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and just meet up mm. with guys like at restaurants. This ain't no sex, ain't no going out, no none of that. Just mm-hmm. meeting up with different people to see what you like and don't like. Mm-hmm. But I can tell you what I don't like. I don't like what? a man when he's chewing and you can hear his bones popping. I don't like that either. It's like, what's going on I in I can there? tell you that. Because I like to eat honey and I can't be having no cacophony of sounds coming out. That's Me either. Note. That's going to mess up my meal. And then it's just going to be like, well, you can pay this tab and go. But that's rude. Are you eating chicken bones? What is going on over there? Probably even trying to get to the marrow. If we go to a nice enough place, they're going to have it on the menu. Step it yeah. up. I don't eat bone marrow, but you know, they might. I don't want to be hearing the chicken bones like you said. Anyway, uh-huh. um, let's see. If you could change one thing and only one thing about your past which could have a butterfly effect what would it be i never would have got my first credit card in college Mm. well i think we know where that's going um if you could tell your 17 year old self something what would it be girl don't go to northeast that ain't far enough away how far was that? Like two hours, hour and a half? That's two hours, girl. And then one of my home girls had a car and we was up and down that road. We was up and down and back roads going to Nagish, up and down, well, going across to Tick and Grambling. We was all up in them uh, fraternity houses and shit. Oh, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. <laughs> But we all graduated. Well, that's good because some people do the sex, drugs, and rock and roll and never see the the graduation ceremony. They don't reach commencement. And so that's good that you still finished. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was out there bad, but, you know, I knew I had to get my education. I couldn't embarrass my family name. Mm -hmm. Not like that. I embarrassed it other ways, but whatever. (laughs) Speaking of embarrassment, do you ever get embarrassed about me doing this show? No, I will tell you what happens though. What? So this is what happened. So what you met him at Joseph's Who? um with the locks. party. Yeah, yeah. I, didn't I was like, this is my daughter. She has a podcast. You should check it out. You and your lady or whatever. Because mm-hmm. you know me in my mind, I'm young too. So you know, I'll be talking to everybody. Yeah. Well. <laughs> So he never checked out the podcast, but he definitely was following you at the time. I don't know if he still is or not. I mean, I just, I don't know. Anywho, Me either. he was like, well, once I started following her, I know there's a lot of my homeboys. Are. I said, yeah, uh, she's from here. So, you know, it stands to reason. He was like, yeah, but these are from New Orleans. I said, mm-hmm. oh, okay. So anyway, another guy, he says to me, Tish, your daughters, they're just so beautiful. I said, I know. He's talking about. I'm going to marry him. I said, boy, if you don't give me some money for Pampers or some shit like that, we ain't got Pampers? nothing to talk about. I'm talking about Mallory. Right? Oh. <laughs> so he was like, what about the oldest one? She got kids. I said, no, but this is her podcast. So he listened to your podcast. He was like, he high yellow. He's talking about, ooh, Tish, that show, that show. I said, I ain't never listened to it. I just try to encourage younger people to listen because mm-hmm. that's the demographic. Right. It's like, okay, well, I told some of my partners about it. I said, okay, well, again, I don't listen to it, so I don't want you to bring it back to me, but mm-hmm. I hope y'all enjoy it. Mm-hmm. So that's it. I'll leave it at Did that. Did they enjoy it? Yeah. Okay. They found some parts funny. But you know who listens to your show every time? Lita. Uh, your stepdaddy. Yes, he told me that, and I told him <laughs> to stop, and I said it in the show a few times. I said... Martin, please stop listening to the show. Please stop listening to the show. Y'all, my stepdad listens to the show. Please stop. Don't encourage this. So not only does he listen to it, but his Martin friend listens. that oh. um, is a writer out of Miami. He has like a, he writes for magazines and stuff. He mm-hmm. listens to it as well. Mm-hmm. And some of his old ass friends, I mean, old friends. So yes, I just feel like who listen. the more listeners you have, I mean, it's great. I mean, it's, it's very forward. For a young lady to have this type of show, or young ladies to have this type of show, mm-hmm. hey, it's in your face everywhere you go. 
Yeah. So I really yeah. don't like when people I know personally listen to it. Um, mm-hmm. And I prefer if you do anyway, because I do think it's a good show. So I get it and you might be curious and listen. I don't want to talk about it. I don't like when people want to talk about it. And I don't want to talk about it. Send in an email like I tell everybody else. If you want to be a listener, be a listener. Send in an email. This is or not better a discussion yet, leave a for review. Easter. Leave a review yes, with your questions. Please rate, review, and subscribe. Um, you can join mm-hmm. Patreon where we actually look at the questions and try our best to answer them because, yeah. you know, y'all are the most uh yeah well not the most but y'all are very supportive and that's a bonus of being a patron we really try to do stuff for them um okay so what's the questions the listeners had because ain't that where we at in the itinerary because i got my itinerary up here i have two more questions and then i'll go through what the listeners had some of them were the same okay so um do you feel like when you get if you were to get married now or even dating how big does money play into that? How much money he has? <laughs> he doesn't have to have a lot of money, to What's be honest with money? you. Why? He doesn't. He just has a good, good credit. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, credit. There's a credit. difference. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There is a difference. Big difference. You can have a lot of money and horrible credit. I got two kids in college. Credit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got two kids in college. Um, what do you? Sorry, Squatch well, we get out. to drink again. Yeah. You can drink whenever you want. We're done with the game. Oh. We drink all the time. I've been sipping my drink. Um, mm-hmm. we'll go to the listeners' questions because I think uh, some of the other ones that I have they have asked too. So I asked maybe five, and then we're gonna move on and do the advice segment where you will help me answer the questions and then we'll do the cocktail i hope you've been thinking about it because i would like for you to have a story i have one okay but i hope you have one too okay um a lot of people are asking if you listen do you listen no the only thing i've ever listened to is um um one time I had, so what I do, oh, I hope YouTube does not listen. <laughs> when, <laughs> for your sister and you, I normally play your podcast in my bedroom when I get ready for work. And I just leave it on and let it run. Mm-hmm. And I play Mallory's in the living room. Well, one day mm, don't I messed up and switched one. it up. <laughs> and I had George play in the living room and Mallory's in my bedroom. Joseph had come home for lunch. This was last year. Mm-hmm. He was like, oh, my God, Mommy, have you ever listened to Kara's podcast? Oh, my God. Oh, that's my sister. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was like, you're so dramatic. Shit. That's this how I felt when show. I was listening to his music. Well, see, and I, I never you. listened to his music don't. either. But, mm-hmm. you know, I don't care what you guys are doing. I'm going to support you. It's kind of like what Prince said. You know, it's the growth spurt. And mm-hmm. we'll see where it takes you. Do what mm-hmm. you can do right now. This is what's hot is happening. Everything you turn on, it's about the same subject. So go for it. Monetize it. Make your money. And that way I get Instapot. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So we're back. For, oh, from shit, our I don't drink this whole bottle. I saw that when you emptied it out. You got to move to the next one, I guess. That's how it goes sometimes. Um, this right here is mm-hmm. like Kool Aid. Cruise and Rye. is not paying. It's a limited They're edition not. watermelon. And We've I love shown them black, that. and I shouldn't be doing that. Girl, do you remember that time we had a family reunion at the plantation where my <gasps> ancestors was working? And we had us out there eating fucking sandwiches and freaking watermelon. Yes, I'm on over the it. rind. On the rind, like. <sighs> Why sad? And I was so was proud that? of all my children. I don't know. I was so proud of all my children. We were like, no, thank you. Mm-hmm. We bougie babies. We're good. We're good. And then they it was still open to the public. So and the ancestors them. of the owners are walking through looking at us like, mm, here they go in their natural habitat. Okay. No, no, no. Not mine. Mm-mm. No, thank you. Um, 
Mm-mm. Anyway, bring up them bad memories. Wipe it off. Wipe it off. You gotta get Joseph. Some bring sage. out sage. <laughs> He's part of production. My son is very handsome. He is. He looking for a sugar mama. Well, his mama looking for him to look for a sugar mama. Well, I don't know if the sugar mamas listen to us, but they might. I don't know. They're probably the people who send us mean emails and leave hateful things about us on the internet. Hateful things? Oh, wow. They can be very If you ain't got haters, you ain't doing something right. (laughs) That's what Cat Williams say. Okay. And I'm like, well, go ahead. It's fine. As long as you listen, I do appreciate you. I don't expect everybody to agree. Mm-hmm. It is what it is because I Cause stand for for my entertainment word. purposes only. Okay, you only Boom. know what I choose to tell you. Okay, this is boom, bam. Okay, so I got this question several times from several people, and I think you left this in a comment on my live one day. What is Uno after dark? What is what? Uno after dark. You kept talking about Uno after dark. What is that? Oh, girl, shit. Y'all can't mind me. It's Uno flip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get in my cups, girl, and I can't remember shit. But it's Uno after dark. Well, wait a minute. Uno flip. Oh, I made some of my makeup. If y'all like it, it's baby, stuck. It's on there. It's my girl. Let me tell you. Because I got them old woman blemishes in my face. Let me tell you. Let me slide to the side. Into it. Oh. Watch the tutorials by Miss Mallory Alexis. It's in a link in the bio. <laughs> yeah, thank you, because I always misspell my baby name. Mm-hmm. Now I misspelled her name you, to begin with. Why did you spell her name like that? Got people calling her malaria. Slow, dumb, dumb as fuck. What you mean? <laughs> It ain't no secret. I was at a party. That little white girl was running around. I said, oh, I like her name, Mallory. I thought I'd spell it phonetically. M-A-L-A-R-I-A-L-E-X-I-S. That's her YouTube name. <laughs> yes, it, it is. Now. But she beat this old woman's face, girl. I'm going to have to put this on my dating apps. <laughs> you should. She got some good pictures of you. I like what she sent me. Um, what was yeah. the hardest breakup you girl ever is had? talented, girl. Mm-hmm. My marriage. Oh. Well, yeah. What yeah. made it so hard? Was it really because you were him. actually married? No, because I really loved him. I really did. No, I mean, do you think but it I'm was hard? I'm not quite sure if I would spit on him, him if he was on fire. Huh? I. It wasn't that you didn't love Wait, him. I said, now? do you think it was hardest because you did marry him and you were so in love? That made it harder than the other breakups that you had. Um. No, I was like, "Fuck this! You leaving me with two kids? Damn. Mm-hmm. That's hard." Yeah. He asked for my forgiveness. I forgave him. That was and good. we're quasi friends, but he better not catch on fire. What does quasi friends mean? Because y'all are very friendly when I'm around. I say friends mean <laughs> motherfucker. Oh, I know what that means. I know okay. somebody like don't that. Act, Not don't somebody like... I was dating, but I know what you mean. All right. Yeah, they can be female or male friends. It don't matter. Like, <laughs> oh, girl, this good to see you. <laughs> Bitch. Yeah, that one. You know what I'm talking about. Don't act brand new. I just wanted to know what you meant. That's all. I'm not being brand new. Yeah. All right. And then I want, I want you kids to see that I can forgive someone when they've done the ultimate wrong because ultimately the forgiveness is on your part. You have to be able to move on and you can't, oh girl, you can't if you, uh, girl, this little low cold shoulder is giving me life. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, you can't if you're stuck in, I hate this mother sucker. Mm-hmm. I wish a train would run over him and then back up. I hope a cougar catch him and scratch his face off. A cougar? Cougar. Fuck it. It don't matter. I hope a monkey drag his ass down a flight of stairs with nails in it. Why don't you try to crawl over that wall that has nails embedded upside down? You know, you can't be like that with people. You can't. 
That's going to make you hold on to that. Exactly. And it festers. It gives you high blood pressure, hypertension. It gives you situations. It doesn't allow you to wrinkles be open. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't allow you to allow new people into your heart, into your mind, into your space. Someone says, are these niggas still trash when they 50? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, girl, shit. (laughs) <laughs> they sure is, girl, and still be trying to be hoes with Viagra pills and Cialis. Shout out to Blue Chew. If you would like to get a Blue Chew pill, or you want to get it for someone that uh, maybe you don't love, but you just want to spend some time with, make sure you check out their website and use our code Cocktails. I thought that was a nice time. What's the name that. of the um Blue Chew website? Bluechew.com. dot com. Is that and for you- females? That's for men. Excuse me. Why don't men walk the walk like women walk the walk? What do you mean? Like I could be driving down the street and see a fine man be like, hey, what's up? How much? He'd be like, $20. I'd be like, okay, get in. Oh, you mean like walk the do. track? Um, oh, what I said, walk the walk. You, you said walk I mean. the walk. I think, um, I don't really know. I've never gave this much thought. But I think it's because... Like every circumstance, they think they're better than what they are. So they're not going to say $20. They're going to say some astronomical number. And it's just like, boy, bye. You don't even have to know where to be go walking tonight. Around. That made me walk around with a humpback, a pot belly, skinny legs, no ass at all. And still want you thinking to make a five-course meal, thinking they fine, Mm-mm. thinking you're supposed to take care of them. And I don't subscribe Mm-mm. to that. That's against my religion. No, nah, men mm. are supposed to take care of women. Period. Pooh. Mm-hmm. All oh right. God, I, um, I can't believe I drank this whole damn bottle. It has rum. Okay, mommy, you gotta stop because they ain't pay us nothing. <laughs> what, girl? You might get a subscription deal. Not a subscription. Maybe I'm gonna send them an email called, with a link to this endorsement. All right. How do you feel about Kiki being publicly explicit about her sex life? My mom would kill me. Laughing emoji. I feel like Trina Mama do what you do, boo boo. <laughs> um, Next. Hey, there's a lot of questions like that. Uh, how does, uh, mm, mm, mm. Somebody said this is a relative. I won't say who to protect their privacy. Why are you so crazy? It might be your goddamn daddy. What? It's not my daddy. And you what? Know, I already told him. I try to block him in every way I could, but I can't block him from listening to the show. Why you be acting so crazy? Funny Girl, crazy. What? We ain't gonna okay, worry. we ain't gonna worry that. about that. Yeah. That's Next question. News. Okay. Um, who was the first man you fell in love with? And My daddy. It's a load- not that kind of love. Okay, who was the first man oh. you fell in love with? How old were you? And does he still look good? Loaded question. So I have a very bad track record with men. They break down after I leave them. <laughs> it's like or after they leave me. <laughs> Maybe. Mm-hmm. They better get with the winning no, team, like say- Jocelyn said. Okay, I would say that um, all of them still look good, but are they good for you? Mm. It's like a fried pork chop. Looks good. She might have a yeah. heart. Now, time. Mallory's daddy, when I first got with him, he looked like Al, be sure. He really did. What was it that attracted you to him? He lo- I just told you. Oh, because he looked like Al, be sure. The old Al, be sure, not current Al, be sure. <laughs> No, 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 no. Yeah, because that son Quincy that's always with Diddy, he is a handsome man. Yeah, he looked like I'll be sure. He was real kind and gentle. He gave me whatever I wanted. Of course, I was in college, so my wants were very minimal. Mm. He was nice to you as far as I knew. But, to who? Uh, to you. Oh, but, I was too young. Yeah, he was <laughs> a liar too. Seems like I attract liars and whores. It might be a generational curse. It's not feel maybe. the same way. Mm. Well, maybe I can eat some sage and clean it from the inside out. 
Um, okay, so Maybe. somebody but said. But I need somebody to go to the liquor store. Joseph! Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, have you heard of a game, excuse my language, called Fuck, Mary Kill? Yes, yes, yes. We're going to play that. It's just one I'm round. Ready. This is somebody's question. It's one round. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I've heard of it. I've seen it on TV. Martin. <laughs> Sam. <I'm> Who? <laughs> 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 and this is not truth or dream, so you got to answer. Okay. Um. I would kill Sam. Wait, what's the other two? <laughs> Fuck or Mary. Um I would fuck your daddy and marry Martin. There. That's what I thought you would say, actually. Yeah. Uh-uh, no, you did. Let me change my answers. Why? I'm just playing. Yeah, because it is what it is. All right. Um, let me see if there's any more questions that are different from what we already talked about. Are you thinking of your cocktail in the back of your head? Do you have one? Hey, because I'm not, girl. I'm thinking about where the hell I'm gonna get some of my watermelon cruise in from. What the whoa? It's 9 30 there now. Hopefully somebody can get you some. You should have took some from Mallory's house. Um, I started to see if somebody could get it, but I don't know how Mark I mean, not Martin. Joe's gonna get you no liquor. He got an eight ID. Girl, you or know they be having fake IDs. I went to the store with Madison and I was like, Well, baby, I'll buy that wine for you. She said, I don't need you to. I was like, huh? And so I just ain't saying that. I acted dumb. Went to the register to check out. She showed that little WG. Her little fake ID. And I was like, girl, when you get a fake ID. Oh, I did have this mommy. I said, okay, girl, whatever. Don't you love a lot of people when you wake up in the morning and if you're anything like me, you consistently check your bank account because you don't know how much money you have <laughs> not funny um you guys it's real hard times out here right now everyone needs every dime they can get and they need it quick that's why we are so excited to tell you about current it's a mobile bank with a visa debit card that gets you paid up to two days faster so listen if you normally get paid on a friday you can get paid on a wednesday with current isn't that exciting i love getting money when you least expect it and current gives you free overdrafts up to 100 dollars with no hidden fees now i don't advise that you overdraft all the time but every now and again look you gotta do what you gotta do and current has your back current works just like any bank card because it is a real bank account it's not a prepaid card Another dope thing about Current is they instantly refund the holds that gas stations put on your card. Now, first of all, I didn't even know that gas stations put holds on our cards. Where's my money back? <laughs> Current also works with Apple Pay, Google Pay, Cash App, and Venmo. We all need that because look, when Bay wants to send you something on the side, you better have all of those quick little cash app. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so listen, I am going to download the Current app, and you should too, right now. Get your Current Black Premium card. Oh, they got a Black Premium card. Y'all better go get you one. Go to Current.com and enter the promo code COCKTAILS. Girl, Ooh, you all together. dressed up tonight. <laughs> I am because I was looking okay. like who shot John and why. Okay. Um, Ooh, like you was on an episode of Ozark or something. Well, I ain't been watching that, but I got to. But I ain't got nothing but time, you know. Girl, them people um, from Ozark look busted. How would you? They do. I I think that's a problem why I can't watch it. I like to see beautiful people on TV. Um, you need to it, join UMC. It's a channel, I'm Urban doing, Movie Channel. I'm familiar. Mm -hmm. It's black people. And there's a show on there. It's called A House Divided. And it is good. Let me write that in my notebook. Okay. House Divided. Um, somebody said, how did you enjoy the live show when you were there? I was like, look at my baby. She got an audience for what she want to talk about. I was very proud of her and Mandina for their efforts and getting it all together. I thought the venue was very nice. Um, there was some background drama, but you never knew about it. And that is a true 
professional or true professionals with an S. Mm-hmm. Okay. I didn't stay for the show, though. I was asked to leave. I was good with that. I heard you didn't really leave. I did. I did. Well, I mean, you was only upstairs, but okay. Um, yeah, but I did. I le- no, no, no. I left. I left. You left, left? Because I want you to... Yeah, I wanted you to be in your natural habitat. I want did want you. I wanted you to give your did audience. Did you see me fall? What they paid for? Mm. No, girl, you failed. What the hell? I told you that I tripped over the speaker. And I, you know, y'all had oiled me up real good, so I slid down. Yeah, and girl, I was able we to pop them back up. To shine, girl. We wanted That's you to shine. shine. That's probably like for the a best. diamond. Mm-hmm. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> Okay, she. So I slid on down the that speaker out. and put it all back. I'm not gonna put it out. All right. So, um, so when your live show is gonna start again? I don't know. Honestly, we were planning them to start. I wanted them to start in March. Then I was like, okay, we'll push it back to June. But we can't really plan because we don't know what's happening. I, I honestly don't think it's going to be able to happen this year. So I've been trying to look into virtual things, but I'm like the virtual. It's and getting old. Like, yeah, and people are it's tired and there's old. limits to it if the Wi-Fi is messed up and people buy tickets. Like, I don't want to refund nobody. So I don't believe in refunds. Um, and so I don't know. I'm, we're still trying to figure that out, and I'm going to keep looking into it. We'll see when things open back up. But they basically, the reports that I'm seeing from, like, insider entertainment industry publications, it's like, don't plan anything for this year or next year. Plan for 2022. And I'm like, oh, yeah. hold on. Okay. I'm trying to go to Columbia and do some some other things. Get some work done. And some Columbia? Things. Yeah, she from there. You mean Columbia as in the country? Casanegro? Well, not Is that, that where city. you're going? Cali. Columbia as in Cali, Columbia, Columbia Records? Columbia. No. Cali, Columbia. Cali is the city. Columbia is the country. Well, why are you not going veneers? to the black part? That's not where you the doctor is. I want some veneers. veneers. How much them cost over there? Three to five thousand. Ooh, I can get my bottom teeth done. Mm-hmm. You see oh, what I'm bitch, saying? That'd be too bad. Oh. We could go at the same time and maybe share oh. a little room. And they do it... They, <gasps> All right, all right, all right. So that's enough of that. Let me see if there's any other any other questions. Um, I do voiceovers for that, huh? Mm-hmm. Now, no, so now we are going to move on to the advice ex- segment of the show. I hope that you guys enjoy okay. this. I hope that you guys um, tune into our Patreon, subscribe. Um, I'm going to try to get another video going with my mom and my sisters. What? Hold up! I just showed you my whole dick bag. I cannot believe I did that. I am too drunk. Oh my god. You did. Do you want me to save that for Patreon? Uh, uh yeah. Because okay. Well, sorry you guys missed the last part. Um all But you let somebody keep- roommate know that that ain't got nothing to do with what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> that's for your me time. <gasps> Oh, it's I a big old bag. Most, he's not here. <laughs> All right. All and right. look, your baby sister came in and said, Mommy, can I use this bag? Hell no, you can't use this bag. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, tell her I went to that goddamn chiropractic. She went to the chiropractor. And what? And let me tell you what he said. Like, after what he had pop my back, pop, 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 pop. I was like, oh, shit. I stood up. I said, oh, oh thank you. It's a one time thing. Mommy, you said it's a one-time thing. <laughs> and what he say? He was an old white man. He turned red. He said, huh? I said, is this a one-night stand? <laughs> I said, you were feeling about my booty and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. He fell out laughing. I said, no, nah, I'm just kidding with you, but you did make me feel good. What's up? <laughs> did he have on Birkenstocks? Or, he did, or he had on regular. Now nah, he had on them shoes from Walmart. <laughs> but I give a shit. He made me feel good. Damn, I ain't got no more. Joseph! 
Hey, little bass act like he can't hear oh, shit. He probably in that phone. Wait, wait, this still your show, ain't it? Girl, I ain't got no more. I'm going to cut some of this out. I know. We at the end, okay. mommy. It's just two more seconds. You need to wear that little outfit more often. Mm-hmm. And you it don't, don't really never dress fit, down. Mommy. I'm it sorry. Doesn't, you don't never dress it's down. It's too big. You don't never dress down. Okay. Period. Boom. <laughs> It's time for us to move on to the advice. Remember, y'all, I'm not even playing with y'all today. For real, for real. Please don't send the... We appreciate the advice that you guys ask us for, but please don't send it to the DMs or the cocktails. Your little outfit rec- make you look thinner on top. That's real cute. Okay, so anyway, um, send it to askcocktails at gmail.com. That's A S K. C-O-C-K-T-A-L-E-S. We're going to do two emails today and then we're going to tell a cocktail and then that's it. And then we both going to finish getting drunk and go to sleep and roll over in a bed like we normally do. All right. So the first one, the subject line says, he's going to leave me. I personally say, we'll go. But let's see what she says. Hey, ladies, please keep me anonymous. Let's jump right into it. I'm not having enough sex with my man. We've been together for a little over three years and I truly think I'm going to marry this man one day. Whoa. Exactly. He's perfect for me in every way. Okay. When we first started out, the sex was good. I'm a little kinky, so I had to show him some things. But now he's a freak like me, and we have amazing sex. When we can. We both work full time, but I also have a side business as a visual artist. What does that even mean? Which leads to long work hours after my full time. Also, a little TMI. My cycle is irregular and sometimes can last half a month, which which also cuts into my sex time. He's cool with period sex, but I just don't feel sexy during that time. I've tried more kinky shit. I take sheet orgasms. I'm attracted to him and all. But lately, I'm too tired or not in the mood to have sex, and I don't know what to do. He's pretty understanding and says it's not a big deal, but I know my man and I know he wants more from me. How do I get myself an even, how do I get myself in an even better mood or make more time to have sex? I don't want to lose my nigga over some pussy that I want to give him. Thanks. Send for my iPhone. She needs to get a side chick. A side chick? To help her. Yeah. To help her out when her irregular periods come on. Mm-hmm. If he doesn't want to have sex with her when her period is on. No, she said he's cool with it. She doesn't feel sexy, so it's her thing. Oh, well, she needs to get a side chick to help her out. Okay, well, um, I'll take that because I don't know what else to tell you because I feel like, well, girl, either you're going to do it or you're not. Yeah. That's and it sounds like you don't want do. to, so maybe yeah, you should watch sister wives clubs. on uh yep you go to sex clubs you what think, co- what uh, city is she in? she didn't say well she could google it like go to google.com g-o-o-g-l-e.com and look for adult sex clubs and she and her man can visit those spots and when she's on her cycle and doesn't feel like having sex with him then she can say hey boo Got something new for you. Let's go try out this spot. And they'll mm-hmm. go there. There'll be a lot of popcorn pop to cover the funk of sex. And, you know, he, <laughs> let it happen. Let it do what it do, baby. Or she could find a side chick to help her out. Next have, question. Have you ever been to a sex club? No, I read about it on Google.com. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next email. It says, update, urgent, forward. Dreaming about dick in class. Girl, mm-hmm. you need to be in class is what I'm already feeling. But all right. Hey, y'all. My dumbass originally sent this email to the wrong email by mistake. Okay, so last November. Are you for real? Last this November. Thanksgiving. And it's May. But okay. Last November, I wrote to y'all um, about the fine dark-skinned football player in my graduate program in Michigan. Let's call him Dan. And for the first semester, he left school and started training for the NFL in California, and I never saw him again, even though we still follow each other on Instagram. I figured all hope was lost and moved on without ever shooting my shot. 
Well, things have gotten an interesting turn or have taken an interesting turn. I'm originally from Kansas City. Kansas City, Missouri. So when he when the pandemic happened and school shut down, I moved back home. Fast forward to this week. I'm watching the news and this man is being interviewed. Turns out he got drafted to the Super Bowl winning Kansas City Chiefs. Part of me is like, damn, is this fate or a weird coincidence? It sounds yeah. like salt. But anyway, so here's my question. Should I try and pursue him now, or does that make me seem like a clout chaser to make an attempt now that he's playing for my hometown team? And how do I pursue him without looking like a groupie? I'm not the type of person who cares about money or what someone does for a living, and I was definitely interested in him before I knew he even played football. But I'm honestly just kind of shy, and I don't really like putting myself out there for guys I like because I've been rejected in the past, especially because of how dark my skin is. I just think he's fine and want to get to know him. What should I do? P.S. I included a picture of myself and him because I guess that's what people do. People do do that. And I I don't I don't want y'all to do that because I don't really know what y'all looking for. But. okay. so first of all, you need to work on your insecurity system. That's just first and foremost. Mm-hmm. Uh, all this shit you talked about who cares if he's with the Kansas City Chiefs the fact remains that he hadn't called you back and that you're worried that you're too dark for you need to just own your beauty there's beauty in every hue of an African American who come in all shapes sizes who is washing dishes mom um is somebody washing dishes? No, nah, it's the air conditioner. Oh. <laughs> and colors. We come in all colors, sister. What you need to be concerned about is the fact that he didn't call you back. Mm-hmm. And just leave it at that. Just chalk it up to the game and move on. Like, for real. I wouldn't even waste my time. I wouldn't either. I think that that is going to be a recipe for disaster. I think that you have some inner work to do that is seeping through this email. Mm -hmm. It doesn't even matter if you're trying to put on that. You're not a gold digger. It's not about that. You really were interested in him, but it's like now. But honestly, you wouldn't put none of that in there if that wasn't a bit appealing to you. And it is. I get it. But that's not what you need to do. Okay, well, we have to end, so it's fine. This That was the last okay. time, y'all. Okay, we got to move on because I got to pee and my mama getting drunk. So, I'm sorry, Tisha's getting drunk. All right, so now it's time to move on to the cocktails, the last part of the show, before you can plug all your authors and your book club and everything else. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Okay, so I have a very short story. Y'all be getting on me about why I don't like short men. Y'all have Mm -mm. those preferences, and I have mine. Now, I have dated short men before, but I'll tell a short story. I've probably shared this before, but I'll never forget a time. And you're in this story, Mommy, Tish. Um, I had... I was going on a date with a short man. My mama fell asleep at the house or something. I don't know. But everybody was mm-hmm. home. Me, my mom, Mallory, my stepdad, my brother and sister. So I was going on a movie date or something in high school. This dude comes to the door. For whatever reason, I tried to get there Are you first. for real right now? Yes, I am. Are you I for am. real right now? I am for real right Are now. Are you for real right now? I'm so for real right now. My stepdaddy tried to get there first. But somehow, my mama made it up there. And I thought she was asleep, which I thought the coast was clear. Everybody else was cool. He rang the doorbell. It's like, uh, I don't know what he said. My mama literally stands out. Mm. Who is this, Mitchie? <laughs> <laughs> this ain't Girl! Was the other one. I was like, oh my God, are you serious right now? <laughs> and ever since then, I said, I'm not bringing nobody home to meet my Girl, family. Whatever. Unless whatever. I already have 
serious intentions with a wedding date involved to get married. <clears throat> and ever since I've held on to that for 20 years almost. Um, yeah, so you embarrass me. You call that man a midget. He was not, he was just short. And you were screaming about that. And um, that's not okay. I hope you have learned from that. I hope you don't do that to Madison and Joseph. But I know the other things that you have said, like calling that boy Harry Potter and everything else. But I have turned into you and calling these folks names too. And I just feel like, again, this goes back to our curse. So what's your cocktail? You look no angry. <laughs> I am. Because that was a long long time ago wasn't nobody answering that damn door i had to walk from the master bedroom which was at the very back of the house four bedrooms and i had to walk all the way to the front of the house everybody else was sitting on the couch and shit and i get up there hair looking wild i was a wilderbeast <laughs> and he did look a little different because it wasn't the same I person it. i had moved on well fuck it i said it he looked a little different mm-hmm when was you didn't call him ugly? Whatever. What's your cocktail? Whatever. And y'all can send y'all's cocktails into cocktails.atl at gmail.com. But okay, will probably can I read give that. a bit of pr- criticism? Y'all need to slow down on them c- cocktails. What you if mean? the average alcoholic is trying to get the documents, I mean, the products together, y'all say that so quick. Alcohol kills brain cells. You have to. What are you talking that. about? Say it slower, like at the beginning. The email you down your cocktail. Oh, ain't nobody really making them cocktails. I don't think we just talk about what's going on. But I, I, I got you. I take it into consideration. Thank you. You're welcome. So, what's your cocktail? Because yeah. I feel like you're neglecting. I don't stuff. drink cocktails. I just drink what I got. I I'm not talking. From the no, no, no. I think you didn't read what? the full thing. So, the cocktail for you, I, I need you to tell me a story. Tell us a story, me and the listeners, a sex or dating experience that you have had. Wait a minute. That is <laughs> hotline, hotline. Your Hold hotline up. blinking. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um, hello. <laughs> Hey, I'm doing a show with Kiki right now. Um, I'm sorry. Can you give me about 15 minutes and I'll call you back? Thank you. <coughs> mm. I'm sorry. Excuse me. That's all right. Kiki to everyone. Mm-hmm. <coughs> so okay, you, you tell a story. It's a sex or dating experience that you've had, like a story. Short story. Not a ton of details, uh-huh. but good details. It could be funny, embarrassing, romantic, good, whatever you think. But just a story-worthy story about you and someone else. Nothing by yourself. And you don't have to say names. So in this hometown that I'm from, Natchitoches, Louisiana, I was standing at Blake's ice cream parlor. And it was a popular little ice cream joint where, you know, you can roll up and get your little soft serve ice cream. I mean, is this present or was this back when you was my age or younger? You so damn shysty. Yes, of course it was in the damn 80s. <clears throat> and I had to make a decision. I was mm-hmm. standing there with my side boo, which happened to be your daddy. Mm. And I was standing up there trying to get my little ice cream because me and my little friend, we had rolled down there just to get some ice cream. But, you know, I was hot to trot. So, you know, he had walked his old ass over there talking about, hey, girl, what you up to? I said, I'm getting some ice cream with my friend. What you want? And he was like, well, uh, you ain't call me back. I know I ain't call you back because I was trying to work it out with my boyfriend at the time. Summertime. Mm-hmm. So it was another boy in the neighborhood that had the same exact ugly car that my actual boyfriend had. So I thought it was my boyfriend riding up. So I broke off running. I left my bike, my friend, your daddy, and everybody at the <laughs> ice cream shop. I just started running. <laughs> and when the boy passed by, I said, shit, that ain't even. Mm-hmm. That ain't even him. So I ran back down to try to save that relationship. I was trying to be a player, girl, you know, just trying to trick and hold, you know, just just being honest. Mm-hmm. So I ran back down to get my ice cream cone. 
And he say, your daddy say, oh, I see what time it is. I say, well, you know, game recognized game. What's up? Mm-hmm. Wasn't no shame in my game. You going to buy my ice cream cone or what? Because I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> so he got me and my friend an ice cream cone and we left. She say, my friend said, girl, you cold blood. I say, yeah, girl, I'm just like a reptilian. What's Heart a reptilian? You know, a reptile? Shit. Yeah. Amphibian? Whatever. Oh, you combine. Same damn okay. thing. Cold hearted. Mm-hmm. So we rode our bikes on back home with our damn ice cream cone that we got for free. <gasps> Courtesy of your daddy. <laughs> what? And he's still passing out free stuff because he was giving the girls drinks. I said, well, whatever, as long as I got mine. That's because he owes shit. Mm-hmm. He should have been off at somebody college trying to get an education. But now nah, he was trying to check off on young chicks till he met me. And I was like, no. Nah, well, you were a young chick. I was. But you're going to pay for this. I need some diamond earrings, which he got. I need some money, which he sent. And that's on period, boo. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this. <laughs> Probably not, it, girl. It was just really think, lame, really. It was just my mom. You didn't like the insane. episode? I think they're going to like this, girl. mommy. To you and all of that. Girl, who was that in that red dress? Somebody what red, red dress? dress pa- oh, Me? that's you. This is pink. <laughs> girl, I had oh. to go to the bathroom. I want you to get, I was listening, girl, but. I'm just saying, girl, you know, everybody wants somebody that sugar daddy to come in and swoop them up. But I don't know if y'all been on Instagram and looked up uh, Mr. James, the sugar daddy. But that's how them sugar daddies really be. All right. That's Can I enough. Pu- pu- people right pu- now? Now is Okay. So listen, thank you guys so much. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you didn't. I enjoyed don't, myself. I enjoyed you being here. This was a good talk. I really did like yeah. it. Um, let everybody know if you want them to follow you on social media, you can let them know that or anything you want to pub pub. Now is the time. Okay. It's really not important that you follow me because I don't really be posting anything. However, here are a few authors that I would suggest that you check out. (sighs) Anything by Alexandria house. That's my girl. And she doesn't even know I'm doing this because I don't really personally know her. I did fly all the way to Atlanta for that book convention. And we met her. Kiara and her auntie come out and we all met her. She was real personable. It was hot as hell up in there. We met her, Christine C. Jones, Alexander Warren. But Alexandria House, (laughs) baby, (laughs) them boys, that series. The McLean brothers. Now, y'all can't have Leland because that's my boo. Because he like older chicks. Who? Y'all can have the rest of them. Leland? Mm. <laughs> the professional basketball player. <laughs> oh, and then boys. Also, another author to check out is Monica Walters. Her series that is about black cowboys out of Beaumont in Houston. Awesome series. Really good. Really nasty. And then India T. Norfleet. Girl, if you listen to this podcast, let me tell you. It's a podcast? No, I'm saying if you listen to this podcast, if India's listening to this podcast, I am new to your work. Mm -hmm. And so so let me tell you. I didn't use some of your stuff to get people ready for me. (laughs) Let me tell you. Yes, she has a book of poetry and she has um, novellas and novels. Any of those three authors? You don't really need to even talk. It's kind of like playing Prince before you get there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now let me shout out to my book club. Hey, girls. LSBS in the house. <laughs> and then my friend, Terry Lynn. Hey, girls. If I can work at question, <laughs> she's probably going to be embarrassed because she's a younger girl. It's fine. Okay, so anyway, thank y'all so much. If you're interested in a book club and you're in the DFW area, maybe you can find a way to reach out to her. I don't know if they're taking submissions or not, but... They be real bougie. They real bougie. I ain't going to lie. I love them. 
Yeah. All of them. But they really well, go to the places that she likes and maybe you can meet my mom and maybe y'all can start your own thing and invite her. And I think she would be Good. fun. I appreciate I you them. so much for coming. I do stand on uh, pump and stamps or whatever where you invite a person, I'll come. If you invite me, I will come. But if I don't have an invite, I don't come. Yes, All a right, proper everybody. invite, not... Hey girl, we doing this on Friday, and then you expect me to be there on Friday. No, hey girl, we're doing this on Friday. I would like you to come. Will you come? Can you come? So anyway, that's it. Um, something's going on in the, in that corner. Um, I appreciate y'all for listening. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, and also maybe reach out to Medina because she said she wasn't feeling well. That uh, meniscus issue or something was affecting her, and that's why she wasn't here with us today. Uh, reach out to her, send her well wishes, and uh, thank you guys so much. And I hope you enjoy a happy Mother's Day. And I hope you subscribe to Patreon and please keep listening to the show because bitch, y'all need y'all to listen to the show. Y'all can't keep letting our numbers drop. Thank you. Bye. I'm sorry. But the person you called has a voice mailbox that has not been set up yet. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Wait on the track.